I'm James Patrick. I'm the author of this book, Essays on Modernity and the Permanent Things. I wrote the essays and the book in order to share the ideas that were uh, current in the college environment with a larger group of people who also were part of the college. Uh, a school is always rather like an iceberg. There is a tip that sticks up out of the water, which is the, the, uh, the, the tutors and the students, but then there is a larger underwater base that is those who make the school possible through their generosity and their prayers and indeed their participation. Uh, communities are always best when the entire uh, pyramid of the iceberg shares not only in the abstract conviction that this is a good thing, but in the ideas that constitute it. So I thought when writing these essays that what they would do would be to reach out to people for whom I had great regard who might enjoy sharing in something of the intellectual life of the community that they support. I suppose every human being thinks his own thought has some importance, but I think these are important because one of the things that I may be able to do is bring to bear on some contemporary situations a kind of insight that comes from a deeper understanding of the philosophical and indeed Christian basis of, of our way of life and our, our intellect. Um, one can always read political commentary. One can always read pious literature. I think that these may be a combination that brings to bear on questions that might indeed be important to those, to we the living, uh, something of that great heritage which is ours. I'm not sure that there is one that stands out as, as particularly important. I was, I was interested when I read them that I, I, uh, I enjoyed them all. I suppose it's always true that people enjoy what they've written, or would that be the case? But anyhow, I wasn't uh, I wasn't embarrassed by any of them. I think that the, the uh, one of the first ones is the one on hope and glory, which is uh, particularly uh, has all uh, has people have all, others have always particularly liked. Um, I also uh, very much like uh, like the uh, the essay about love which is uh, love changing the world, I think is important. I also like memory and hope because I think memory and hope is a uh, memory is the one thing that can keep the world alive when everything else is, uh, is, is going wrong. People would enjoy uh, this book who like ideas and who are glad to be alive, I think would enjoy this book because they're about, uh, they're about the intersection, as I think I said earlier, they're about the intersection of things that are true and the situations that we face. And in that way, it has a kind of existential line in it. And in that way, it's not, it, it could hardly ever be called systematically philosophic, but it brings a lot of philosophic and theological ideas to bear. The message of the book would be pay attention to your inheritance from the classical and particularly the Christian intellectual past and use those resources to make your life better today. I would uh, hope that uh, you might read the book and enjoy it. And, uh, in that way participate in the community of ideas that it represents.